Hello everybody and good morning. I My name is Hunter Blanchard and I am the naturalistic horticulturist here at New England Botanic Garden. And today we are standing in the beautiful Shade Garden. So the Shade Garden is one of our premier gardens. This space focuses on creating beautiful gardens underneath the trees in a little bit of shade. Uh, you know, we have everything from deep shade to dapple shade. And we just wanna show people that they can have a gorgeous space and they don't have to cut down their trees. So let's go for a tour. All right, so I am sitting here next to a small patch of one of our Spanish bluebells or Hyacinthoides hispanica. So this is one of our beautiful plants that we've selected for the shade garden. Um, we've added 10,000 of these every fall for the past few years and the hope is that they will naturalize and become this gorgeous display of blue flowers. All right, another fabulous staple of the shade garden is this Ethereum nipponicum or Japanese painted fern. You'll notice this plant as you meander through the shade garden. It's uh, tucked into many areas. It does exceptionally well down here and just look at how gorgeous that foliage is. So I am sitting next to this gorgeous patch of Peonia japonica or Japanese woodland peony. Uh, this is a fabulous addition to the shade garden. They do very well in deep shade. They slowly spread and then you get these magnificent flowers. They'll only last a few days but after the flowers pollinated it gets a very uh, beautiful seed pod with bright red berries on it. So as you move through the shade garden this year, keep an eye out for them. This beautiful little plant that we have here is Myanthemum canadense or Canada Mayflower. And you'll notice it blankets the floor of the shade garden. It's a wonderful native plant that forms an herbaceous layer that just adds a brilliant touch to our shade garden. Another gorgeous native plant that you'll see everywhere here in the shade garden is Lismachia borealis or star flower. It has this gorgeous little stem with a few leaves and a few delicate starry white flowers. It's one of my absolute favorite spring wildflowers and you'll find it tucked into every little corner amongst the Myanthemum canadense. I'm sitting here next to this gorgeous patch, patch of Saruma henryi, or upright wild ginger. This is another favorite in the shade garden. I always get questions about this plant, but as it, it's a little bit short right now, but as the flowers unfurl, it'll keep putting out flowers as it gets taller and taller through the season until the clumps are about another foot high. Um, I love how they dance in the wind and you can always catch a cute little bee visiting these flowers. I am here next to this beautiful patch of fairy bells or Dysporum flavum. This is another fabulous addition to the shade garden and a plant that you will find all throughout our shade garden. It has gorgeous little yellow flowers. It kind of reminds me of a Solomon seal um, and it holds its color for a while. All right, I am sitting here next to this gorgeous little patch of Camassia cassiciae, um, one of the many different species of Camassia that we have here in the shade garden. This is one of my favorite spring flowers, especially because not only is it native, but it comes in a range of different bluish purple hues and you'll always find a cute little bee visiting the flowers. But they're just beginning to bloom now, so now's your chance to come and visit them in the shade garden. Thank you guys so much for coming with me for a walk through the shade garden. I hope you saw a few things you liked and learned a little bit, and I hope to see you on your next visit to New England Botanic Garden.